Hi there and welcome back, it's Tanya from Tutty Treasures. If you're new then hello and welcome aboard and hello to returning subscribers. Um, <clears throat> I was having a conversation last night and um, I was asked how do I take um, an Edith Alden book apart because um, I'm going to do a weekend, how I've done the botanical weekends, I'm going to have a weekend of um doing an edith alden alter file folder if you do uh want to join in um on the facebook group and on patreon i've put a list of um the pieces that i've already got made up so on my edith alden playlist um i've already you know made these pieces and i'm making really the folio around using the pieces up so what i've done is i've put um i've linked all the uh videos for for the pieces so you can make these up uh beforehand and the video is already um already there so that's a writing board um so yeah if you're interested just pop along to the uh facebook group like i say it's right at the top of the the discussion so yeah so uh, someone was asking you know how, how do you start putting it taking it apart and deciding um because they want to get prepared they don't know what you know what should they fussy cut out what shouldn't they that kind of thing um and i said oh i'll do a video so here i am this copy isn't a full copy i've already taken out autumn and winter so there's some the back sections missing and a couple of pages from the front which was january but that really you know doesn't doesn't matter i'm still going to take it apart the way that i would if i had a full copy so just remove the the dust jacket um i probably would use use that i'm not sure that i would use use the front i don't know if like a, a matte um gesso type thing would get rid of the the shininess but i think on the photograph the shininess doesn't doesn't look so bad so i will keep that um for the lovely picture of edith and what i would do is i will pretend that that's not right there I would just go along and I would find the first stitching. So it's going to be a bit difficult because obviously I have ripped into it. So let's start here. So we can see that we've got stitching here. So you either want an all. Uh, also do it with one of the um, sewing pickers. I don't know the technical term. I've also got one of those embossing things. All you want in is something that you can get down under the cotton and lift it up. And you can see there's actually two strands um, of cotton. So I just lift that up and I got my tiny scissors and I just snip it like so. Now, the good thing about this tool is it hasn't actually got a point on it sometimes if i do it with the awl i tend to um pierce the paper so using this is probably a better idea i've not i've not used it with this before because i've only just um got them so if you can't get to the stitches then just you know move move the book around and and stretch it so you can get in there now these i can't get in with the all so i've just got it poked in there and then there's one more here so the sections which are the signatures and i think they've got three or four oh, see i've just pierced that um i think they've got three or four sheets and then you have a sheet which is glued in so i'll leave the glued in ones till last so we'll just that one's not not done must have missed one of the 
threads so bear, bear that in mind when you start pulling just do it gently at first just to make sure that you've got got them all so just take the ones out which will come out like so and then these ones are glued in so i'll go to the next section so we just keep flicking until i can see the stitching and here it is and the more you take out the easier um it gets because there's obviously more room let's try this i think i might have a thinner one these are all i can't even remember the main purpose why i bought these but um they handy <laughs> i used to have um a knitting needle what i used a lot for things um and i don't know what happened to it um, and I missed just having something that was pokey. Now this, ah, uh, got one. That's it. So if you do it with this, you don't even need need your scissors. That's it. Oh dear. Yeah, it is difficult not not to pierce the the actual paper. That's it. <clears throat> so that's those ones. So that one's glued in. So we'll leave that one. Go to the next. And that's that one. Can we get the poker tool under? Yep. think this is actually better and then just pulling it it's it takes a little bit longer but I'm not piercing any of the pages let's get that with the, with the scissors that's it and that's that one so we take those out I didn't realise I'd, <coughs> I'd not got, I thought I'd got more copies than, than I had. I've got like two copies and I thought there was four copies, but they're actually two half copies. Um, they've both got the winter and autumn section out of them. So I must get these spring and summer ones used up. Um, I'm not buying any more until, mind you, they're too expensive at the moment. Um, I did manage to... Um, find one um, the other week which wasn't too expensive um, but I did take that apart and I did sell some um, pages on on my Etsy but they went well they've gone so that's that but yeah until I've used them I'm not even looking how much they are unless Julie sends me a message saying quick <laughs> I found an Edith Olden because that's what she did one night uh, and I was like right I'm having it <laughs> now it's it's laying flatter I can get the scissors under without poking um, the paper so I think if you've got a variety of pokey tools um so that's that one okay poppy one oh that came out straight away look so i think there's just one there So <laughs> we've come to, to the end, so we'll see what comes out without too much. So 
I'm just lifting it slightly. Let's just get those strings. So I've <clears throat> got the book like that and Leave that one in. that's them all out and I will keep those pages in case <coughs> I want to do uh, something with it at a later date because that's a really nice clean copy so bearing that in mind I'm going to put the dust jacket back on um, to keep it protected um, while it lives in in my box so that's it all taken apart so let's just get rid of all these pokey dangerous things um so i will start i take the pages one by one look at both sides i know that that is my favorite that's lovely but that is the image that i would i know that i would use and it's a full image so that will go i'll do it like that so you can see i'm gonna let's just take the camera out a little bit okay so that's a full picture i would definitely use that image i really like it so that can go on there so that is all text so that will go in another pile I would use that one and I would probably keep it as a full page. I have done um, some file folders and done them in, in monthly ones. So I'll keep the date ones to the bottom. So we've got the May one. So I'll put that to the bottom. So we've got text and to me that screams fussy cuts. Um, I wouldn't use that as a full page. I would actually cut those elements out. So that is our third pile. So this one I would tear in half and I would put that on my text pile. And I'm not a lover of that but I have used that one quite a few times so that would go on there. This one, I would either fussy cut that out or I would put it on my text pile. And to be quite honest, you don't get a lot of text and I love the text, so I would put it on my text pile. This one's a plain one <coughs> and that goes on my text pile. This one's a plain one, that goes on my text pile. Um, I... I have fussy cut of that out before. <coughs> um, oh, that's a nightmare. I would tend to have this as a, as a text um, one. 
then we've got another uh, monthly one this is a tax one um i fussy cut those out before and that was a nightmare too <laughs> so that's the text one but i do really like the text um so let's take that apart i wouldn't fussy cut that out i would have that as text so again, we've got a monthly one. So that can go at the bottom. I wouldn't use that as a full page and I wouldn't fussy cut it out. I would probably fussy cut that. I, I can't see me using that as, as a full a full page. So that can go on there so we've now got a middle spread so I would keep that over there because it's a double it's a double spread and I keep those sometimes I don't use them and I, there's a couple what I've got really nice images on the back um, I, I'm not a, that over fussed with them. Um, I'm not a great lover of this one. I know this is a favourite of a lot of people's, but um, I like it. But it, it's it's not one of my favourite um, images. So that can go over there. Again, we'll take this off. That can go under that. I would probably fussy cut um, this one or I would fussy cut um, the Kingfisher so that would go on my fussy cut pile I think this is a, oh, I thought this was a double now the, this, <laughs> these two are my, one of my favourites I absolutely adore that one and I adore that one so <clears throat> they go on full, full images so this is a double spread beautiful and I really like the back too <laughs> so yeah when I came to use that it would be a you know what what do I want it for so <clears throat> that can go with the double ones let's have a look at this that's my favorite too So that would definitely go on full images and then we've got this which it's got lots of nice little butterflies on and images i think i've you know i've got quite a few texts now so i would have that on my fussy cut pile maybe it could pass as as a full page and in fact it is going to be a full page because I've cut these butterflies out before and when you cut them out they look kind of crooked on there they look fine so I'm going to put that on my full page this is another beautiful um, image and I really love this image too I'm not a great lover um, of that one love irises but I like the the blue the blue ones So that would go on my full pages and so so with that i have used that side before because i really do like like that but that's beautiful so that's that another full one really love that one the dog roses and honeysuckle so that would go there this is one of my favorite images too So that would go in my full images and I would keep that in my full images again I have fussy cut that out instead of that but um I only definitely cut out what I know is going to be fussy cuts as I start using it some of these then may become fussy cuts um but I don't like to cut anything um that I'm not too sure of Again, this is one of my favourites. So 
I would put that in the full. I have used uh, cut those out separately and I do really love love that piece as well. So I would put that on my fussy cuts. Um, and also sometimes the fussy cut ones, they may become envelopes. Um, you know, it, this is just how, how I start, start off. Um, when I first took one apart, you know, there were certain images I used and things and then I thought, oh, I wish I'd have used something else. But now I've, I've got to know the book. I, I do know what images um, I will use. A lot of, I love this, um, but sometimes I do use it for the text. Uh, it depends how desperate I am for text. So I really do like that one. So that would go on my full. I'm not a great lover of that one. And I'm not a great lover of that one. Um, I have fussy cut those out before. I'm going to keep it on my full images. Because obviously this could become an envelope or or, or something because again the butterflies once you cut them out the they look disjointed um that's really fiddly to cut out and so so is that so i wouldn't want to fussy cut that side i've fussy cut those before um i don't know why i'm not a great lover of swallows um and you know once you fussy cut that out it's I don't know. I've never known what to do with it. So I will put that on the full. But it may become um, envelope. So I always use this one for text. Because it's got the text at the back. So that's that one. This one I'm not a great lover of. It's got some wonderful text. But I will put it on the full uh, for now because like I say we have got quite quite a few uh, text pages another beautiful middle uh, page so I'll keep that over there and then we've got another well we've got two two front covers oh no you normally end up uh, bringing them in anyway to <laughs> to use them I'm gonna say obviously I do cut them all properly on the on the trimmer so they're both um year ones I'll pop them right at the bottom I would have that for tax And I would cut that out because that makes a really nice um, pocket, like corner um, tuck. So that's that one. I would have that one for tax. I do like this one and that makes a nice uh, tuck as well so I would put that on there then whatever text is left will then get moved on to well it goes in a scrap um, one and then we've got another centre spread so once I've done that I've got three folders and in here this is all um, front um, pages which should be at the back then we've got these pages are from um, nature notes these are from um, one of the oh I don't know like cookery notes or something like that so keep that at the back and I keep all those at the back because 
I will do something with them. I have done some um, giant tags with them before. So they live right at the back. And then all the um, nature notes, as you see, it's, it's a very different writing. But I still do love these because I love the colour of the font and I love the colour of, of the paper. So I have used these in, in plenty of um, projects. So I think that's that's all those. And then these are the um, text ones from Edith Holden, uh, Country Diary. So that's those ones. That's the text file. Oh, let's put them back in there, like so. And then that's bits what's what's left so that's that folder normally i'll just clip it over i don't pick it up obviously like that <laughs> and i just i just put a clip in it like so so that's all my text pages and then i've got another folder and this is Full pages these are from that one's from um, Edith Olden birthday book really cute size they are made some nice little notebooks with those um, I think these are from things like um, creating a butterfly garden and things like that and um, if you do go into my Amazon favorites all the books uh, that I've used with Edith Olden images are in there So, yeah, oh look, I love that one. Yes, how to make a butterfly garden. Anyway, <laughs> that's out of nature notes as well. Beautiful. Okay, so they're my full images. So I'll put my full images in there. So we've got the year ones at the back. I've, I know I've got a double one at the back. I thought I'd got a double one. I don't know that. Anyway, so that's there. And then the double ones I would put right at the back. Okay. And then to get my clip and clip those so that's those oh that's where that other pokey tool went i knew it was somewhere right where does that live and then i've got another folder which there's hardly anything in it because um i did lots of fussy cutting and these are going to be my fussy cut images I mean, would I fussy cut that or would I use it as a, as a page? Well, I'd, I'd think about it. So, yeah, again, that's from... Oh, yeah, that's a butterfly garden one. So, I would put those in there. And that is our take one apart and our separate it. So, that one's going in with the text. should be in the back it's not in the back back is it it's at the that's it and that goes there so that really helps me um you know i don't want to keep looking through lots of text pages and stuff if i want a picture and i don't want to be looking through pictures if if i want text um, and obviously, just because it's in this one doesn't mean that I can't fussy cut it out. It's just that I don't want to fussy cut it out until I start using it because I don't want to, you know, use something up and then think, oh, I could have used it for something something else. But, um, yeah, in my fussy cut folder now, I will get these ones probably cut out. I think I'd um mm and ah oh about that. Um I mean, that one I would definitely cut out because I wouldn't want want that part. But, yeah, I, I think I would cut that out and I think I would 
cut round round there and then maybe back it on on something so that that is that and obviously i i do the same with with any kind of book that's kind of the method um that i use but um because i've used edith Holden um lots of times i do know now which, which you know when i first ever looked at it I loved every single page there was all my favorites but with using it I obviously now know the pictures that that I do use them and, and what I use them them for so I hope you find um that useful I don't want any um I don't believe that you can take that book apart and all the rest of it in the comments <laughs> because um you know a lot of these books are, have been sitting on people's shelves and forgotten about um i i first saw this book when i was about eight and uh, a friend's mother had it and uh, she showed it me i think she had it for one christmas and her daughter you know my friend showed it me and i absolutely fell in love with it um, and every time I went round, I would go, can I look at that book? And I remember sitting, you know, in a corner, just shuffling through this book. Uh, and eventually she told me that her mother had lent it somebody and she never got it back. And I, I do think that she actually just kept it away from me because I didn't want to play. I just wanted to look through this book. And I totally and utterly forgotten about it and... And the love that I had. And it wasn't until I started looking at junk journals and things like that. That I was like, I know that book. Um, and yeah, it, it's amazing that, you know, so many people probably wouldn't have known about it. If people wasn't using it um, and, and all the rest of it. And um, yeah, sitting on a bookshelf getting getting dusty. Um isn't you know i don't think that's I, i've got an original copy um what what i've got for myself which i would never cut up um but i buy them now to to cut up and to use them and i do think that edith would, would be thinking how marvelous that people are still using her art all these years later um and we're creating our, our art with it. And that's the way I feel <coughs> about all, all the books. If a book's special enough, I would keep it. But you can always buy another one and use it. Um, so, yeah. Obviously, I know people are a bit, mm, I don't know how you could take that. But um, that's, that's what we do. <laughs> yeah. So, thank you very much for watching. Like I say, I hope um, you did find it... A little bit interesting uh, just seeing the way that I um, go through it uh, I love these folders and you're probably thinking oh they're ripping and stuff but again these was I would never use these I love them but I would never use them um, to make anything because they're not really my style but I love them um, and they just kept sitting there and I thought well I'm I'm gonna use them because things are to be used aren't they um yeah love it look lovely on some bedding that would uh but yeah it's funny how things um i mean I, i'm not keen on that at all because i really don't like that pink um oh you know i probably couldn't work with these things but i think it's beautiful um maybe i could but yeah in the um um oh, in the um companion um the thing is there's lots of um oh no, i can't find any there's lots of black papers um in that yeah i do quite like this um black with with florals hmm yeah, I really do like that look. That might be something to to try out. I might actually take <coughs> take that folder out um, and and put it in a green one. Anyway, I'm going. <laughs> so um, yeah, I like I say um, there's a list of um, the things that 
we're going to be making and stuff on the Facebook group. And I will put all the links down below. And like I say, all the books, Edith Olden books and stuff are on my Amazon favourites. So I'll see you soon. Bye for now.